So all right, get the hind end boiling a little bit and canter again. Come on, tap her up there, wake her up. Better. 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 You feel the difference? Lovely. Yes. That's a good place to canter. Yes. Stay back. Hands a little forward. Follow with your hands a little more. Yep, stay to the inside of the cones. Keep her going. Hands forward, follow. Keep her neck straight. Outside rein. Watch that you don't use too much inside rein. I want you to think of putting her outside nostril in front of her outside foot. It's all right, keep the walk boiling when you get to it. Little more. Little more. Little more. Better. 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 Yes. Good knee. Yes. Try to stay back in that. Follow with your hands. Keep her nose in front of her chest. So you're going to have a little more outside. Keep her going. Tap her. Tap her. Tap her. Tap her. Yes. Keep her nose in front of her chest. Because she wants you drawing your head a little too much to the inside of her front leg, which is going to pull her a little off balance and create a lack of straightness. So straighten her nose, outside rein, outside rein. Straighten her nose. Yes. Better. 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 Give your inside rein a little bit. Yeah. Lengthen. Yes. And then work it. Don't let her quit. Be there with your whip. Yep. Keep her going. I don't care if it's ugly, but keep her going. Yes. Good. Good. Give your inside right. Not too much inside right. There you go. Yes. Keep her nose in front of her withers. Yep. So we're going to cross diagonal. Go 